hey everyone uh, welcome back on my youtube channel uh, so continuing again with uh, analytics uh, wave cloud uh, in this video tutorial we will see how we can export data sets and then import it again on uh, another salesforce instance so it might be possible that you have a data sets available in one of your org so for example in my case uh, this is my developer org uh, where i am normally do my analytics uh, cloud stuff not really a developer org i will say my demo org so in this org i have few data sets now i want to export these data sets now these data sets are saved in salesforce analytics cloud in their proprietor uh, format so it's not really like it is like in salesforce uh, normal salesforce we have a object and field structure kind of stuff so this is not really saved in that way however i came up with a tool uh, uh, from force.com github repository which says uh, analytics cloud data set util so i would be using this tool uh, to say uh, export my data set uh, and i have listed this tool in my favorite free tools listing as well so here you can see uh, download stuff that this is a data set util tool i'm talking about so let's go on uh, so this tool has around 28 releases so we would be going with uh, this one so i am just downloading uh, this jar file around 20.6 mb and let's go back and see how to use this tool so this tool says it can run in console mode as well it can be run in the web mode as well so uh, i would be of course going with the web mode to explain you how uh, it works and how we can export these data sets uh, and uh, in csv format and then upload it back again so i am almost done here uh, let's see where it gets stored so i have a lot of stuff so let's concentrate on this one i may use my command prompt so i'm just preparing for it it's it's almost done so i would be going back on my download i would be going on my command prompt and i would be just executing this one let's see what it says okay so uh, now you can see at background uh, this url has been launched uh, with this ip address on port 3174 so you don't have to do anything uh, browser should automatically open it but in case it gives you some error like port is already in use then maybe you can try by uh, opening this url directly so let's try by inserting your uh, analytics cloud username and password so let me try so this is my uh, analytics username and that's my password let me try to sign in here okay so this tool uh, does a uh, lot more than just exporting data set i am using only for this maybe you can go on their git repository and read through the capability of complete tool so uh, here it shows me all my data sets so if i go back on my analytics cloud it shows i have five data set available here and same five uh, available here so we can click on here actions and then we can say okay instead of action uh, we have to click on the name of the data sets okay that's right so here uh, you you can see it's the kind of the csv format and then we have to edit so basically it is showing only top 100 so i am clicking on saying edit uh, salesforce analytics cloud query language and only thing i have to do is like i have to remove the limit so i will say do not give me only 100 record give me everything and then query it again so we have it is not uh, 
I, I will say not necessarily it will always work for you if you have a millions of record but in my case I just have few thousands and my browser is capable to render it so it will work so once we are done we can just click and say expose to CSV and now we can see uh, the complete data set has been exported as a CSV now we can go on uh, any analytics cloud we can say create data set and you can use this option to import it again in uh, an instance i hope you like this video please give me thumbs up if you have any feedback on this please leave a comment thanks very much